everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. <coughs> Sorry if I sound really bad. My throat's been really bad the past couple days, and the reason this video is so late is because I lost my voice, basically. It feels like it's still mostly gone. So, last time we rematched with that bear, I think, and it went better than expected. Trying to remember what else we were doing. Okay, I think we were going to go trade for some animals, actually. Right, check the small traps first, because I can't remember if we did that last episode. Grouse, those are pretty handy. I'm just kicking it because it's small and not particularly dangerous. There's still something going on around here. But I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, I think spoiled meat actually scares off. Predators, unless they're like starving. So, probably not a good thing to leave that there for so long. Well, we just got a black grouse cut. Why am I leaving? Can we bait it already? It's been a couple days since I played, so it's going to take me a little bit to remember the controls at times. <coughs> yeah, it's not worth chasing it. I going to see if I could chase it in the direction of the traps, but too much water in the way, I think. Okay, looks like there's not much going on. I wonder why that hide is harsh. Is our tanning just that bad? It may be. I haven't checked in a while. Um, hide working? Yeah, hide working is terrible. Survival and cookery have gone up though. It's not bad.
sorry I'm not talking too much. Like I said, my throat's still kind of sore. So, if I go quiet, that's probably why. So, this will take a couple hours, I think. Yeah, probably the most annoying part about having a bear is tanning the hide takes all day, pretty much. <coughs> and yeah, normally I try not to drink while I'm recording, but today, fuck it, I just wanted to record because I couldn't for the past day or two. can't actually carry all of that. I'm surprised. Oh, let's get walking. I have to go pretty far out actually to get to the nearest towns. So we're gonna be gone for a while. Like, not really. I was hoping there was a mountain in the middle of that. here, I think, actually. If we had a punt or something, this would be probably quite a bit faster. So this way? Yeah, through here. <coughs> so I wanted to make sure the mic was away from my face when I did for multiple reasons so I don't remember what this village had to trade actually Yeah, I don't care about that. Okay, I hope we can find a sage around here too. It's just some guy. Some lady. Some cows. It's weird that I haven't found one actually. Normally every big town like this has one, at least one. Shovel, knife, yeah, you don't have anything I care about either. Nets might be worth picking up, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Bellow was a cow. Yeah, I don't 
don't see a sage anywhere. It's really annoying, actually. Oh well. Hey, you, sir. Sell me a cow? Looks like we're not getting a cow. Oh well. Cows are really expensive, so I'm not too surprised. Check what the other town around here had. What is this? Shields with no one watching them? Hmm. That's strange. Might be able to steal from those and get away with it. Is that a bowl or a pot? Bowl. Well, mug that... Ah, you sir. You are important. Teach me to perform a ritual. Thank you. That's all I needed you for. This is a pretty small town, it looks like. Oh, hey, food place. I'm a way child. Bag of salt. Ooh. Those are expensive and hard to come by, but you can use them to dehydrate your foods. Well, salt them, which preserves it for a little while, actually. It's not as good as smoking or dehydrating it, but it lasts fast. It um, takes less time to perform. Punt. Punt would actually not be terrible. It's basically like a small canoe or something. So you can use it to easily travel over water. It's better than swimming. Hmm. Well, I'll keep this in mind. There's a bag of salt here. So let me leave down. More importantly though, how far away are these? One, two, three, four, five, six tiles. There's no way they'll catch me stealing from here, right? Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. If I keep that in mind, I mean forget and have you all yell at me about it in the comments. Because I can't remember shit. Is there a key binding for zooming out? Control minus and control plus. Probably should have looked that up a long time ago. And I'm sure a lot of you were just sort of frustrated at watching me stumble around with trying to zoom out with the mouse, but oh well. If you don't want to see me do stupid shit, you should tell me about it in the comments. <laughs> Basically. Because I've never claimed to be good at these games. 
or so. Yeah, sure. Can I hide? No. Is it aware of me? It can see me, but it's not alert, is it? the northeast. Mm. Ah, they're too fast. I'm not going to be able to catch it. Come on, game. Not sure why it pauses like that. I'm not sure why it's loading. Presumably it's loading something. Yeah, I am exploring a little bit while we're wandering around looking for towns. Need to find a couple new towns too. What do you have? Um, nothing I'm that interested in. Carving axe, splitting axe, short sword. Mm -mm. I think that's just a uh, fighting knife, basically. Not too worried about that. I think I can afford a cow. I thought I had more fox traps than that, but apparently not. Plus, I forgot some at the camp, which is entirely possible. Yeah, there's no way I can afford a cow. Oh well. So, there's more inhabited territory to the south. Loop, snare, shuffle. Nothing particularly interesting. What about you? Hunting bow. Ooh. I 
probably shouldn't trade that axe, but going to. Cool, you bow. Hunting bows are probably the best we're going to get, except for the northern bow, which is more expensive, and we're not going to find one for a while, because you can only really find them in the north, and they're even then they're really hard to find. Ooh, sheep and dogs. I always had really bad luck with dogs. Whenever I buy a dog, my character dies like a month after. I don't know why. Well, I know why the characters die, but I don't know why it always coincides with buying a dog. Dogs are the only animal you actually have to feed, too, which is kind of weird. They don't die if you don't feed them, but they start barking a lot. It gets really annoying. How much is a sheep? And when you buy an animal, they also give you a rope so that you can leash it. Like so. And now that sheep is following us. So, sheep are not as good as cows because they give you less meat, but they can be milked. I wish you could shear them, but I don't think you can. are pretty cheap, I think. I know I just said that this will probably get me killed, but you should know better than to expect smart decisions decisions from me. Hmm. Nah. Alright, so I think that's about all we're gonna get. A sheep and a new bow. That's not bad though. A sheep. Ooh, granary. Uh, rye grains, I think those are still bugged. town that doesn't seem to have a sage. He's the one I traded all my junk to earlier. And yeah, he'll try to trade back stuff that I traded him. Okay, I can't afford to trade for zeros either. Come on, sheep. Let's go. Just looking from the mountains to get a better view. worthwhile. We got a really nice bow and a sheep. That doesn't sound as impressive as it probably 
is oh bone of sheep. I'm calling this a successful trap. Even if we overpaid for both of them. That is why a sheep is good. We just milked it. I've never had sheep milk in real life. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't really care. And in real world, it's good for me. Actually, I don't like milk in the real world. It makes me sick to my stomach. I'm not lactose intolerant, it's just milk. I can eat stuff with milk in it, like baked goods, cookies, that sort of thing. But actual milk is just really nasty to me. But in Unreal World, you can actually survive off of milk for quite a while. So, the sheep will probably keep us alive during the winter better than our stockpile of meat can. And even if it doesn't... Hmm. I'd like to try out the new bow, but I get the feeling our sheep is going to get in the way. So let's just bring our new friend home. But yeah, even if the milk can't keep us alive, we get a reasonable amount of meat from butchering our own sheep. And yeah, if you're paying attention when I drank that, our hunger went down from drinking that. Which is why milk is great in this game. <laughs> I kind of like to find a vagabond town. But I don't think we're going to anytime soon, anyway. Alright, we're southeast. down here. That is a lot easier than trying to get the mouse pad on my laptop to work. I was heading right towards us too. Well, <coughs> that's one annoying thing I've noticed about having an animal in tow, I always seem to find like stag and elk along the way home. If I have like a sheep or a cow with me. Not if I have a dog. Dogs are really useful for hunting. Never find anything while I'm walking a dog home. Stand up. Come on, sheep. Sheep. There you go. Yeah, that's the problem with small pens. It can be a little difficult to get the animal to actually go into it. So this is why milk is kind of broken. I can continue drinking and lowering my hunger even when I'm not thirsty at all. And then we fill up the sheep. Is this spoiled yet? Yeah. Oh well. It sucks, but it's not a huge loss. Stir up the fire to get this smoking again. apparently pass out while I try to close the door. Come 
Alright, so it's been about half an hour. I'm going to call it here. There's something I wanted to show on the last screen before you leave the game now. It's just a little dedication to all indigenous peoples and groups around the world. I think that's really nice. And there's a really neat little proverb up here. I'll let you read it because my voice is so fucked that I'm not going to be able to do it justice. But I just wanted to show that. It's the end of this episode. See you guys next time. Bye!